Hi all, I hope you all are fine and well. So today's question is more about algebra. The question states that how many real numbers x that are the solution of this following equation. 2003 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power x equals to 2005 raised to power x. So if we divide two raised, uh, 2005 raised to power x both sides, what we will get? 2003 power x plus 2004 power x whole upon 2005. 2003 upon 2005 power x, similarly 2004 upon 5 power x, that is equal to. Clearly, this thing and this thing, they both are less than. Right. Now, consider, let's consider a power x. The graph of y equal to a power x, if a is less than 1, this graph is clearly decreasing. If a is less than 1 but greater than 0, then the graph is clearly decreasing. So, practically, this function, this value, 2003 upon 2005 power x. This will decrease as we kept on increasing the values of x. As x is increasing, this entire thing 2003 raised to power 2005, uh, 2003 upon 2005 raised to power x that will decrease. And same with the case 2004 upon 2005 whole raised to power x that will also decrease. Because this quantity, this is less than 1. So, this is decreasing, this is decreasing. We can comfortably say that this entire thing will decrease as we kept increasing x. Right. Now let's consider this equation once again. 2003 upon 2005 raised to power x plus 2004 upon 2005 raised to power x. Let's consider this function to be equals to y and let's consider one another function which is y equals to y. So we need to check when this is equals to 1 or we need to check when the graph of this thing and this thing, right? Clearly, this function keeps on decreasing, right? And uh, at x equal to zero, the clearly the value is two. At x equal to zero, the value of y is two, and the graph will put like this. So at x equals to infinity, graph will becomes the value of y will become zero, or this graph will try to touch x-axis as x is approaching towards infinity. Whereas y equal to one, this is Clearly, a horizontal line like this. Clearly, the graph will intersect with this graph at only one. So, how many real number of x are possible? Answer will be one real number. That will also be a positive number. One real. The so number of solution of this particular equation. Then, clearly, this is an important question, and this concept is very important. We can we can also treat the question with the help of graphs, or we can differentiate it, uh, and we can uh, find whether the function is increasing or decreasing. Right. So I hope you have enjoyed this session. Meet you once again in the next session. Till then, please take a very good care of yourself. Thank you.